Hello, welcome to TechPoint Fundamentals YouTube channel. This is a programming tips and tricks video series. In this video, we will learn what is the difference between a string and a string builder in C sharp. This is the most common interview question uh, for each and every uh, developers. So, uh, in this video, in this video, we will learn uh, the difference between these two with a practical demo. Before continuing this video, you are requested to please subscribe to my YouTube channel so that you can get a notification whenever I upload a new video to my YouTube channel. So uh, here I have written a simple uh, program in which I am just uh, conc concatenating the string with some uh, text here. I have declared a variable and uh, in a loop I am just appending a text to the string. Let me run the application. Now you can see the output for this and uh, a string a string is uh, an immutable object in C sharp. Immutable means whenever uh, a string is created and if you try to uh, modify that string in on each and every modification it creates a new string object instead of uh, appending into the existing one here if you see uh, this string uh, variable whenever you uh, try to add uh, this fundamental text into this uh, string it will create new instance of string object instead of appending to the existing one that's why each and every modification creates a new one string for uh, example viewing this internal behavior uh, let's see the profiler for this uh, memory allocation for this you have to just uh, use the CLR profiler tool you can download it from the internet I have already downloaded one so if you uh, see this tool there are two folders 32 bit and 64 bit so uh, my machine is 32 bit so I will go to this folder and uh, run this CLR profiler tool run and uh, you have to go and uh, this is the path for my uh, console application me just do once again so what uh, before uh, providing the path we have to select what are the things in which we are interested that uh, memory allocation and calls so now we will provide the path for that uh, application programming is cuted let me kill the application and uh, now we will see the location graph for that uh, string variable if you see this object by address if you see the memory allocation it is too much 87 percent is only consumed by uh, this string system dot string object here this is too much and uh, if you see the total allo allocation uh, bytes it is 130102426 it is too much and if you see this uh, timeline graph for this garbage collection and uh, this is generation 0 uh, heap bytes and uh, generation 1 heap bytes 3 not 2 and generation 2 heap bytes 6122 if you see the timeline how the uh, garbage collection is uh, growing exponentially in case of string the uh, string object in csr if you see this uh, garbage collection uh, heap size when you are uh, modifying any string object too many times garbage collection uh, statics you can also see here 
so uh, let me just taking the snapshot for this okay and uh, let me close this application now what we will do we will uh, do the same thing with the help of a uh, string builder let me create a string builder object now what we have to do just uh, str dot append we use append method uh, to add any string so first time let uh, we can add tech point the same one and uh, at next time what we have to do we have to just append fundamentals right and uh, this string builder object is not a string whenever you want to read the string builder uh, object we have to convert this string to uh, the string dot to a string method so that you can read this this is the same program and we have just use string builder instead of string let me run the application it is same as the previous one but let see the memory allocation for this uh, string builder object go to the serial profile tool run this and select this allocation and calls and uh, just provide the path for that program if you see the allocation bytes and uh, let me open this the previous one this one and uh, this one if you compare these both allocation bytes it is just seven double five five six four and if you see in case of string it is too much in case of uh, the string so this make a clear picture that string is more uh consuming more memory uh, compared to the string builder and similarly if you see the object by address then you can find very less uh system dot string variables or object in this uh, program and if you see the timeline there is not too much uh, for this uh, garbage collection so this uh, with this help uh, with uh, this example you can see that the string is using too much uh, memory because on each and every modification to the string it creates a new object instead of using the same one so uh, if uh, the reason behind uh, string is immutable because it is a thread safe but uh, string builder is not thread safe if any string variable is modified by a thread then it is safe because no one can use that particular uh, string whenever uh, it is updating that particular string one more different difference between these two uh, that uh, string builder is available in system dot text namespace if you remove this then you will get error so potential fix right you have to 
choose using system dot text right so this is a uh, uh, system dot text while the string is available in system name space string builder is uh, not thread safe while string is a thread safe so whenever you have to do a lot of modification over uh, the string object then you have to use string uh, builder and if uh, there is only one or two uh, modification to the string then you can go ahead with the string so that is the main difference between those two string and string builder i hope you have enjoyed this video please don't forget to uh, like subscribe and share this video thank you very much